is the story about Deborah, and it happened during the time when the children of Israel were living in Canaan, the Promised Land, after God brought them out from the slavery in Egypt. The children of Israel, who were born after Moses and Joshua passed away, did not know God and what God had done for Israel. Consequently, they did not obey God, but served and worshipped idol instead. Because of that, God was really upset. During that time, the Israelites were bullied by Sisera and his armies for 20 years. And finally, they cried out to God and asked God for help. Although the children of Israel disobeyed God, He still cares about them. God gave them judges to save them from the enemies and to make sure that they would still obey God and not serving or worshipping idols. And Deborah was Israel's judge at that time. She sure was a wise and powerful judge that she had a palm tree named after her. And there, the people came to her to settle their problems. One day, Deborah called for Barak one of the Israelites' army commanders. Deborah told Barak, God is giving you a command. He said, Go, take 10,000 men with you up to Mount Tabor, and he will help you to defeat Sisera and give you the victory. At first, Barak hesitated to follow the order. Probably, he was afraid or worried. But he knew that God had spoken. So he said to Deborah, if you go with me, I will go. But if you don't go with me, I will not go. Deborah agreed to go with him and said, Because you want me to go with you, you will not have the honor of winning the battle. Sisera will be defeated by a woman. Barak obeyed and gathered 10,000 armies and headed to Mount Tabor. Although they had huge armies, but Sisera had something that they did not have. Chariots! From the mountain, Barak and his armies could see Sisera and his 900 chariots. Deborah told Barak to get ready because God will help them to win. As Barak and the soldiers went forward, the Lord drove Sisera away from the field of battle. The Lord scattered all of Sisera's chariots. With God's help, they defeated Sisera's chariots. But Sisera, he managed to escape. He ran and he ran and he ran towards a tent owned by a woman named Jael. And he asked her to hide him. Jael agreed and covered him with a blanket. Sisera was so tired from running and he fell asleep. While he was sleeping, Jael took the opportunity and killed Sisera. When Barak arrived at the tent, Jael led him to Sisera's body. Just like the prophecy, Sisera had been delivered to Barak through the hands of a woman. After that, Deborah and Barak sang a song of praise and victory that God had rescued them, and God gave Israel peace for the next 40 years.